I'm Logan Crawford, and right now on Spotlight, we're exploring a terrific book. It is called Juliana, an LGBT historical fiction, book one by Vanda. It is a journey through the 1940s in New York City with a twist of romance and discovery. Today, we're going to dive into the captivating life of Alice Al Huffman, who finds herself between the bright lights of Broadway and the hidden shadows of the gay underground. We will experience a story where the pursuit of self and stardom collides and reveals heartfelt truths about identity and love. We're delighted to have this very talented author join us here today on Spotlight, and we ask viewers like you to support writers like her by subscribing to our channel and by purchasing her wonderful book. The links are below this interview. Vanda, great to see you here today on Spotlight. Thank you. Good to be here. What inspired your novel uh, to be set in New York City in the 1940s? A number of factors went into it. The first inspiration was that I was teaching a class of, of students, and we happened to get into some talk about LGBT and, and contemporary life. And as we talked, I realized they knew nothing about the past for the LGBT folks. Hmm. Like nothing. They said ridiculous things. Um, and I kind of expected it to be like that, like maybe the 40s was the same as now because and things were easy and they didn't have any idea of how hard it was. I, I mentioned to the class that, well, you know, back in then, if you went into a gay bar, you had to sneak in because you could get arrested. And they were like, what? Yeah. You, know, and, you know, and so it became an interesting discussion. And then I thought, people have to know this story. It's a very a hard story but but it's also fun there's also a lot of fun things that happen so that's why I got, that's the first inspiration for it well i think that's great um for people to know um the struggles of being a person who is um gay or lesbian in the 1940s obviously most of them were closeted because of societal pressure yeah. and that creates a lot of uh you know, a turmoil for them personally and professionally as well. Give us an overview of what your book is about. Okay. It's, it's not just about, it's not misery. <laughs> um, yeah. It's not about book. It is people trying to struggle to be themselves, trying to figure out how, I'm, why am I different? Mm -hmm. And also falling in love, falling in love and being friends with people who are like them. And then hiding it from people who aren't them. Like the character Al lives two lives. She lives a life with the friends that she learned knew in Long Island that she came to the city with. And they don't know about her being gay because she didn't know she was gay until she meets Juliana. And um, then she has the other life that she goes off with Juliana. And Juliana has another life too. She's married. <laughs> so um, and she's so she's hiding things because she has a career. And if it was found out about her, her career would be over. Right. She's she's a um, uh, cabaret singer Thanks. and a future Broadway um, singer. And so uh, yeah, so there's a lot of struggle in there, but there's also a lot of humor also among them. You know, um, so it's not a it's not a sad... right. It's not doom and gloom. It's a romance, you know, right. that has to take place, unfortunately, in the shadows because of the era in which the story is taking place. Um, tell me about approaching blending historical events with the personal journeys of LGBTQ plus characters. Um, I found it really pretty easy. Um, I had my own struggles coming out and, and, and the part people might not get is that you don't know that you're different mm. when you first, you know, when you're, you know, it's. Some of the hear people say such ridiculous things. Well, you just just forget it. Don't you don't have to be gay. It's a choice. So it's not mm. a choice. It's ridiculous, you mm. know. And you keep trying to choose the other way, and it just doesn't work. It just yeah. never works. And so I had my own struggles with it, both as far as who do I tell and who do I and how do I tell myself. So I can apply a lot of that to the book, you know, um, mm. and know what it's like to you know. And then I would read the history and just. The, amplify what I went through because for them it was even worse. Yeah. The stories of people struggling to come out are so poignant. In fact, just by coincidence, a friend yesterday was telling me his story of coming out. 
um, you know, where he came from a Southern Christian family that's very, very large and how the family at first completely shut the door on him because of it. And then over a number of years, you know, welcomed him back into the fold and began yeah. to understand. So these feelings of being outcast and being shunned are universal in the community, right? Yes. This is, yeah. And fear of it, fear of, you know, who, who do I, even if I get accepted here, will I be accepted here? And you're really constantly coming out and depending on where you go. Mm -hmm. you know, exactly. Because, you know, uh, it's it's always a concern. After a while, you start to get an attitude of like, look, this is who I am. If you don't like it, Tom. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but it takes it, a while to get there. Exactly. I mean, I don't ask you about your sex life. Don't ask me about mine and we're good. Yeah, you know? yeah right, right. It's right. as simple as that, you know. Yeah, right. Um, but it's not simple. I don't mean to... Uh, to, to uh, you know, underestimate the struggle, because I know it is real. And like I said, I just heard a powerful story yesterday. In the book, Juliana influences Al's understanding of her own identity. Tell us about that aspect of it. Well, well, um, Al is, has come there and to, she, she's actually come with her friends to become a Broadway star, like as if you can just walk on stage and become a Broadway <laughs> star. And um, it's a lot harder than she realizes. And she has feelings for when she meets this woman, they're very strange because it's not something she ever really experienced. And all of a sudden she's having these, these feelings and she doesn't really know what to do with them, but she really wants to be with her. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, Juliana totally understands this because she's been, she's been gay all her life mm -hmm. um, quietly um, and trying to figure out. So, but the thing, just the fact that she's gay doesn't mean she runs off with some other woman. You can't do that. Right. When most supposed to get married, they have children. They do the, you know, and you, everybody had to do the same thing. It was yeah. that was so. Um, Al is discovering actually through Juliana and Juliana's career. Al discovers she has a part to play in that career, um, where she ends up actually <laughs> in time. She ends up managing Julia Juliana's career. Yeah. Um, but that's another aspect of herself, like finding people who fit who you are. You know? yeah. And she, but it's a struggle. She loses one friend that she was friends with all her life. Um, the friend doesn't want her to go near her. She seems like she's going to give her a disease. Right. <laughs> yeah. Awful. Awful. Um, but very real at the same time, particularly in that era, which was very, very difficult. I mean, movie stars and beyond, you know, led double lives in secret because they were forced to. Have you envisioned this as a movie? I mean, it's got all the elements. It's got a love story. It's got um, New York City in the 1940s, which is one of my favorite eras. Uh, have you thought about that at all? Oh, yeah. Because yeah. one thing, I'm a playwright also. Okay. So Dialogue comes easy to me. And so yeah. the book is filled with dialogue. And, yeah. and you know, so it's really already got the elements. It's right there. It's just, it's, it would be simple to change it into a film. I agree. I agree. And uh, now that we're putting the word out there, Hollywood, if you're listening, this would be <laughs> a great film. I think it'd be terrific. Or even a series. And speaking of series, this is book one. Is there already a book two available? Been, or is that in the... Tell us about that. Two is available, three is available, four is available, five, and six is in process. Okay, great. Do they all involve Juliana and Al, or do they take are they different stories? Um, they're the same characters going through um, uh, their lives, getting older, watching society change, getting worse. Actually, it got worse. Mm. It didn't, you know, over time, it didn't, it got, there's a point where, of course, it gets better. But during the 50s and 60s, it was terrible. And so they're getting through all of this. Um, at the same time, um, there are more people who fall in love with us. That we have a male characters um, and their relationships. But the focus is always Juliana and Al. Yeah. The number of people who are um, identifying themselves as, you know, either gay or bisexual or trans is just growing exponentially, it seems, year by year. Uh, do you think that's because society is allowing that to happen because the pressure is off that people no longer have to live in the shadows? Yeah, I th I think that people start to free themselves up. I mean, I think to somebody who's like really against it and has things, they probably think it's contagious or something. That's that idea of you, know, you can catch it. And right. it's because people, uh, you know, are just getting into a fad. No, right. it's 
being free. Yeah. You're like, oh, well, I know about these feelings, but I just I hid them. And now I'm maybe I won't hide them anymore. You know, it's sort of it allows, you know, people to, to do it. It's people. It's not something that you choose, because why would you choose to be so different? that Everybody hates you. Why would you do that? You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's a it's a difficult lifestyle even today because of societal pressure, because of small minded people. Um, but uh, I think works like yours are helping shed the light on they're just two people in love like anybody else. The name of the book is Juliana, an LGBT historical fiction book one. It's written by Vanda. It is a journey through 1940s New York City with a twist of romance and discovery. It explores the story and the relationship between Juliana and Alice Al Huffman. It's a terrific book. It's a terrific read. It would make a terrific movie. There are actually five books available and the sixth is on the way. Vanda, thank you so much for joining us here today on Spotlight. Thank you for having me. This has been great fun talking to you. I enjoyed speaking to you as well. To the folks at home, I'm Logan Crawford, thanking you for your time this time. Until next time on Spotlight.